Monday morning, race week. Oh, my speed just fell. <laughs> Getting ready for August. August 7.3. We're gonna take you guys along a race week prep. That there is nothing of much special, but. But it's fun. Yeah. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Nine. How did you get so good at diving in? Oh man, years of practice, hard sense. work, a lot of years of practice. That makes sense. A lot of years of listening to Rachel. Did they Austin. listen? What are you thinking about? Usually a deep side. That is left on my shoulder. You guys always started this one again. Oh, that's faster than it. No, Augusta. Okay. How's Andre doing? What's funny? Not bad. Pretty good. He needs to fix his lettuce hand. With his lettuce hand. You know, if you have like a piece of lettuce and you drag it through the water, it's like. Yeah. That's his, that's his right hand. Wait, is that bad? Of course it's bad. Give me that. in the plane. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> Thankfully, I had my little bag tag. I don't want to give everybody uh, my phone number, but it has my phone number. So they call us. Thank you, America. Line, your bag. <laughs> what you got here? Chicken blood? Is that Friday? Mid-travel? Food? Out of here. <laughs> Rachel doesn't let me see the fries. Andre said, I only eat one or two, maybe three fries. I get here, I've had three. And he keeps trying to eat them. And I'm like, I've been really calm today, but I'm about to lose it. <laughs> it's a nice airport, huh? Treat time. What are you doing? <laughs> Wishful thinking. We made it. Made it. To our cozy little Airbnb. Not a bad place to stay. We got lucky this time. <laughs> Have the whole house for ourselves.
head west on Fairwood Avenue, then turn left onto Westwood Lawn Avenue. <laughs> Just got here, put our bikes together, and now we're gonna get the yeah, we're gonna get the race package and yeah, pretty nice lab little neighborhood that we are here. Oh my god, they have Iron Man VR gear. Huh? <laughs> what do you want to show? That's me? it. All done. Over and out. In and out. The last, on our way. the last amount of expo time. Well, the faster you go on the race. Uh, yeah. So, don't spend too much time on the expo. <laughs> Saturday, almost race day. Rich is getting ready for her spin. I already did my spin, Brazilian style on the crazy roads. Now, she's gonna test her whip. And I'm gonna be on the car. Ready to punch someone! <laughs> <laughs> Came down here to Florida, spent a few days before my next race, and I'd say this is not a bad place <laughs> to hang out. Happy for a race? Um, there are things that I'm happy with. There are also some, a lot of things that I'm not happy with. But it's first race back, shaking off the cobwebs. I know all that, but I feel like whenever you put in a lot of good, consistent work, you just expect more out of yourself. And I expected more out of myself, but. I hadn't run more than seven miles on the road since March, since like the onset of the injury. So I ran 13 miles without stopping because I was terrified to stop. <laughs> uh, even though I was like nearly puking everywhere, but I actually don't have really swelling in my knee. So I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. That's going from less than seven miles to 13 miles with no swelling is, Pretty stellar. <laughs> yeah, so today's Monday, day after the race. Uh, I have a race in six days. Manta 70.3 is gonna be an another good field. And yeah, I'm just excited to throw the line and really show a good performance again. I mean, it wasn't a great performance, it wasn't a bad performance on Saturday, on Sunday in Augusta, but I know I didn't perform as quite well as I wanted to. Um, but learn some lessons about race tactics, uh, how you need to play on the bike, where you need to suffer, where you need to go, and uh, how to run fast with tire legs, which I didn't. Uh, I didn't run fast at all. 114 is not bad, but nowadays it doesn't even put you in the top five, unfortunately. 
ready to hit it hard again this weekend because I'm hungry for more. Also, really congrats to the guy in fifth, I have his name. We're gonna put the link here. So he was a fan and he got fifth, he beat me. He even ran a 109. Uh, congrats, man. Uh, no, you're not gonna get unnoticed next time. <laughs> yeah, one of the reasons that we're out here on this beautiful beach is because our sponsor just opened a new bank. It's the main branches here in Clearwater, but they're gonna have them everywhere. It's Waterfall Bank, it's a beautiful location. Um, catering to athletes, all the things. So doing it up big, open a bank account, say that triathlon was your reason for opening or knowing about it. It's a bank that will actually take care of you and will listen to you. They're setting up a call center in the US. But yeah, they will actually take note of athletes, take care of you. It's gonna be a really great opportunity for anybody who is unhappy with corporate style bank. They're really personable, just genuinely great people. So you should definitely check it out. We'll have the link below. So you can sign up for your own account there. So, um, and I think it's one of the first, first, first. Huh? This can definitely be useful. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine? Yeah. Like, It'd be a waste if you don't use it. Yeah. <laughs> Andre, what did you bring on our walk on the beach with you? What is this? Andre bought a piece of dark chocolate. I brought an evening tea. <laughs> it's beer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone. What? You really mean this close? So, on an evening walk, have you had time to process your your race? Yeah. You just yeah? Yeah, I mean, I'm ready for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Good way to reflect here. Listen yeah. to the waves. Watching a beautiful sunset. My baby. Rolling down the style. 